On what was once a family farm just outside of Alexandria on Childs Lake Road is Moonfire Porcelain, the pottery studio of artist Roxanne Sorensen. Hi, Roxanne. Oh, hi. This little building was my first studio when I moved out here in 1972. And um, there was no power to it. I built my first kiln that summer. And there was, you know, it was just kind of an empty building. So when I, when, when my other building was built, I decided to turn this into a little gallery. And I put, there was a cement floor, so I, I put in a frame and I put on a floor and put in the carpeting and, and so it's, it's storage sometimes and a gallery sometimes. But some of these foot sculptures I did for um, an exhibition that uh, I had in 1999. I got a grant from the Regional Arts Council and I said I would create 50 new works after being in England. And so these are some of the pieces I did and the, the name of my exhibition was called Stepping into the Millennium. And that's why I did lots of feet. In the studio, Roxanne prepares material for her work through a technique called wedging. And this is wedging? Wedging. wedging. Tell us about what you're doing. Well, I'm mixing some soft clay in with some other clay that isn't so soft. So it's mixing the clay together. So is this clay clay or porcelain? This is porcelain. Roxanne supports herself through sales of her pottery. Many people know her from the years she operated a booth at the Renaissance Festival. She is proficient at the complete spectrum of ceramic techniques, but specializes in creating functional pieces in porcelain. Pushing in. So you, you make it look easy, but are there some tricks that you've learned about working on a wheel? Um, stay centered. Uh, I think that's hard to learn. Mm, maybe. For some others, harder for some than others. I think patience is the key. I saw, I saw a video online of a little pottery cooperative in Canada and they had the four P's of pottery. Patience, persistence, um, let's see what else. Patience, called collaring when you bring in the neck. Uh huh. Like that. Sure. Makes sense. Pots have have um, people characteristics. They have a lip. They have a neck, shoulder, belly, and foot. Now what are you doing? Hmm? What was that little thing oh, that you did? Oh, the wire. Uh-huh. The wire is to separate it from the bat. This is called the bat. Okay. Because as it dries, it shrinks. So if you didn't separate it 
with the twisted wire, you'd probably get a big crack through the bottom because it would still be attached and it would shrink strangely. After an initial firing, next comes surface decoration. This piece will be glazed using a wax resist technique. Some, some potters um, use like a paraffin and put it in a, an electric frying pan mm -hmm. to melt their wax. Or it will smear. And this is a slip which has lots of different oxides in it. It has iron oxide and copper and probably magnesium. So, like a deep dark brown? Uh, yes. Usually. Almost black. Depending on the glaze. Sometimes it's, it turns kind of greenish on, okay. on some glazes. Huh. And the slip is going to slide off of the wax area. Wow, look at that. That is really cool. No, this is a porcelain. Mm-hmm. Bowl. Yep. So this will remain white, mm -hmm. or probably even whiter than what we see after firing, um, right? Well, it has a chino glaze, oh. and the chino glaze is, um, has, has some orange tones in it. Oh. I can probably find a finished pot to show you. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Very cool. With that color. Yeah, isn't that cool? Here we go. I'm going to tell us again what, what is the significance of these places. Well, why I bought this is because I have been to Moscow. I've been to London and I've been to Paris and I have been many times to Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> An artist's studio reveals a lot about the creative mind. As we look around Roxanne's studio, we can glimpse residual traces from many of the life experiences that have shaped and inspired this talented artist reflections of her artistic personality and interests. Like many artists, her creativity also spills over into other artistic projects and sometimes other media. You've been doing a lot of things since the Renaissance Festival. Yes. Uh, and I know that you do not only pottery. Mm -hmm. I've known that you to do paintings. Mm -hmm. I've known you to do stained glass. Mm -hmm. You're a talented pianist. Mm -hmm. You love the theater. Yes. You live for the theater. In fact, one of your favorite playwrights is... Shakespeare, of course. And what's one of your favorite quotes by Shakespeare? A Merry Heart. Oh, uh, no, this isn't Shakespeare. This is the Bible, but it's um, a, a philosophy of life. It's from the book of Proverbs, and it is a quote that I have put on many pots, many bowls, many goblets, and it is, A merry heart hath a continual feast. I have too many quotes from Shakespeare to even give you one. No, I have <laughs> I could give you tons of them. Ah. Uh, but I'm drawing a blank. We won't put you in the spot. Thank you.
But we, in addition to your porcelain pottery, you know, mm -hmm. these um, chalices mm -hmm. are stoneware. Stoneware, yes. And uh, you do a lot of commissions for uh -huh. various groups like yeah. churches. Yes. And this is the same technique I showed you on that piece. Oh, I see that though. And it is the same glaze, but it's on stoneware, so... It looks darker. So it's darker, because the clay is darker. And not only yeah. do you make uh, objects on the wheel, mm -hmm. but like I see here, you also have some beautiful uh, tiles that mm -hmm. you've made. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about the tiles and, and some of your tile projects? Um, this was a project I did with students at the University of North Dakota. And they are working on their doctorate in education. And I asked them to think of five leadership qualities that they had to put into their tile. This is mine, the, the one I did when I was thinking about my leadership qualities. And I guess it says um, peaceful and sunny. I like that. Like that this. describes you. Sure. Peaceful and sunny and centered. Yes, it's Good. very centered. Your philosophy, if I can sum it up, yes. from the short while I've known you, yes. is to love life, mm -hmm. live life, mm -hmm. and celebrate through art mm -hmm. as you live. Right. Well, see, this, this would be my philosophy right here. Oh, there we go. This is... And I know you have probably have a picture of it, but it's a poem by William Blake called Eternity. He who binds to himself a joy does the winged life destroy. But he who kisses the joy as it flies lives in eternity's sunrise. That's my philosophy. And it just happens to be hand calligraphied mm -hmm. onto what appears to be a notebook paper, but mm -hmm. is actually a piece of porcelain that Roxanne mm -hmm. has extruded and, and pressed and mm -hmm. flattened and, mm -hmm. and did all the shaping to look like torn paper out of a notebook. Right, because I journal every morning. Three pages I write in a notebook. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, this has been so fun to visit your studio. Thank you. And thank you for allowing us to come into your studio.